there's been a I think an increase in the use of that for people yes. and who for animals and creatures. And I think that um, that's contrary to the English practice, which I was taught when I was in primary school mm-hmm. by a, uh, our headmaster was straight from England. And he said, who for people and that for things. Right. The rule used to be, the way you just described it, in the interim, that is now usable for anything at all. So the man that I saw the tree that I cut down, the dog that I bought yesterday, the idea that I thought up, right? all of those can be that. What's interesting is that who is starting to be used for animals, but really for animals which are domestically close to us. So dogs and cats and guinea pigs and so on, particularly dogs and cats and, and things which have a higher um, intellectual capacity. Not the Queensland lungfish necessarily. Not the Queensland lungfish, mm. I don't think so. It's a shame, it's a wonderful but creature. It's a, nice, it's a nice compliment in a way, <laughs> you know, the, the dog who. Yeah. But strictly speaking, it's not grammatically But this is all correct. the fur baby thing, right? Yes, Isn't very it? much so. Is that an American thing? Do fur babies Not particularly, no. As far, not as far as I'm aware. I think we all do it. Uh, where it began, I don't know. Yeah. But certainly the rules of English about the use of that uh, and who and which have become much more flexible. Should I use who to refer to an animal, Rolly? I wouldn't, unless you want to make a particular point. Okay. You know, this is my dog who saved me from the snake or whatever. You might just do that.